god. <laughs> That's another week. It's another week just flowing. Yeah. Hi, I'm Jess. Hi, I'm James. And this is James and Jess's half hour. How are you doing? I'm doing great, James. Thank you for asking. Tell me about your week. Tell me about... Oh, you want to know all about my week? Yeah, unload. All right. Where do I start? Um, it's been crazy ever since Easter finished. And I knew when I was on Easter holidays that it was going to be nuts. But I didn't expect it to be like this. This crazy. But in saying that, it's good to be busy instead of being bored. Otherwise, you're sitting there and you're looking at all the seconds going past. And you're like, oh, it's not even a minute's gone past. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like sitting in an exam, like when at uni or TAFE or whatever, and you're like, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. Yeah, I'm wearing my like one of my favorite tops, like purple. Your purple top. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of like Cadbury, but I think Cadbury is darker. Cadbury chocolate's darker. It does kind of remind me of Cadbury. Yeah, because it of the, the skin of color the, too. So of the, the chocolate. Oh, I thought the ape. Oh, no. I can feel it. Coming. No, the chocolate kid, and he has like a Hold purple top on. like that color. Which one? And he gets eaten. Was it your modeling days? Is this like. He gets eaten. He's like a cartoon, you remember? The Cadbury ad. Really? really? Yes. Oh my god, Jess. Oh my god, Jess. All right. I'm sorry, James. I'm um, not with it. Yes. So. But yeah, besides that, it's been pretty nice weather. It has been. Today it rained, though. And this weekend it's going to be cold. Yeah, we can't always have it our way, isn't it, James? No. You know we can't that. have it all the time. No. I agree. I have agree. It a bit of the time. Universe, all right. I get it. I yeah. get it. What about you, James? How was your week? What did you do? What did you see? Who did you date? Um, I dated no one yet. Nice. Um, Strategic answer. Um... <laughs> What did I do this week? Just worked. Just worked. Yeah. Just it gets like that and you're just exhausted and It was a shorter week too, but I'm done. Done, I'm done. Stick a <laughs> stick a fork in me. Because yeah. I'm done. I'm cooked. I agree. Cooked like a baked potato. Yeah. You know, talking about you know, baked potatoes, I'll just put it out here. I went to this Turkish food truck place. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and right y- now, like yeah. yesterday. Yeah. And it's in Coburg in Melbourne, and yes. it's like a collection of like food trucks. Ooh. And I had a spud, but it was kind of like HSP, but with vegetables. So they put Ooh. the sauce and everything, but it was corn, jalapenos, all of it. I'm like, this creation mm. is kind of like. Kind of reminds me of how great a potato is with coleslaw, like the yes, cabbage. Yes, potatoes in general, sliced, yeah. diced, fried. <laughs> Anything. Potato. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, let's introduce oh. our Oh, epic. we should do a bit of a... So I basically have been um, in South Melbourne this week and Jess basically... See? Let's show them the view. Yeah. I know. We're on, Insta- we're yeah. on um, YouTube, yeah. so the people watching... Ta-da! I'm just going to show them the view. Of all the apartments and the city lights and night time and stuff. There we go. And then at twilight. Yeah. And then the um so I've grabbed a pizza pamphlet. brochure, yeah, like a pamphlet. From downstairs, I've been, yeah, yeah. I've been going past this pizza shop and I was just like, oh, Friday. And what do you have Friday? Most of the time takeaway. And you know, you you're overcooking. I cooked last night and it was bloody dreadful. I haven't yet cooked a bad. <laughs> what happened? What did you cook? I cooked pasta and I was... How do you stuff that one up, James? So listen, this is how you stuff it up for the people at home. You know what I did? I did an amateur move. I wasn't patient. I wasn't waiting for the water to boil. So I put in the pasta and I put the lid on. You know what that does to pasta, people? You know why they say you cook it, the lid off? Is because otherwise it becomes a floury, hot mess with no actual nice flavour. And then you put it in your sauce and it makes your sauce just all floury and overcooked and just... Wow. 
You should, people are watching YouTube. Did you see his face just then? Just describe that. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, going and back to the you, story. What did you do then? You've got to go back to the story, though. So, oh, true. All right. All right. It's better just to go to experts and get your food made by chefs. Um, do you want to talk to us? So, I picked up the pamphlet thinking, I'm going to have this tonight. And then I go downstairs about. 45 minutes later, and Jess is holding a pizza box, and I automatically... From the exact play, same yeah, place. From the exact same place, and I'm thinking in my head, that's really, really bizarre, because I actually thought, I was like, Jess will probably want pizza, we'll probably get pizza. Yeah. But I wasn't expecting you just to bring it there and have it there. This right is why I was late. I, I should have I should have come like half an hour before, and you're like, where are you? I'm like, I'm coming, I'm coming. Because yeah. I walked I past, know. it's the smallest... It's quite, I don't know, wide, but it's small at the same time. Yeah. I don't know how I, because I knew I was hungry. I'm always hungry, let's face it. I was hungry too, and then you just arrived with the pizza. And I walked and past, and I, I saw the owner, and the owner looked at me, you and I was like, I'm coming in. Yes, Mr. Margarita. Yeah. Wait, we'll get the pamphlet out for people. Yeah. In South Melbourne, yeah. is amazing. So here on YouTube, you'll be able to see. Yeah. It is unbelievable. I'll post pictures on Facebook and it Instagram. It was delicious. It was some next level. And the way he was like, and then I was talking Catch to him for yeah. so long. And I was like, no, I need to go. I have a podcast to film. And he's like, and I was like, I worked at a pizza shop too. <laughs> and that started <laughs> him. He's just like, what did you used to do? And then, yeah. yeah. No, it was good. And then when I saw your face, when he came down, you're like, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah, I was I'm like, shocked. what? <laughs> you're like, I've got pizza for us. I... Half's yours, half's mine. And I was just like, okay. And I was expecting just like a normal vegetarian. I wasn't expecting... I went gourmet. I yeah, was just like, I stuff it. I wasn't expecting this sort of level. It was like caramelized onion with zucchini and cheese, like different types of cheese. It was very gourmet. He has like four options for vegetarian because yeah. I looked at it. I'm like, I know I want salami. Yeah. I'm like, what? Where's the vegetarian at? There's always one somewhere that I can't see. Yeah. And he's like, no, they're scattered all over the board. I'm like, well, James will love this. Yeah. But yeah, it was, it was to die yeah, for. It was. Highly recommend. Yeah. That's our little plug. Um, and we actually so wrote our notes on the on pizza hot box hot for this episode. So this episode, we're going to be talking about the podcast itself. The idea, um, what, came, like it came to us mm. in a very, I guess. That was also bizarre. Yeah. Because we've been talking about this for years and we're just like. It's a very random kind of thing, but not really because we've been talking for it for a while. So I think it was manifesting subconsciously and then we just like decided, yeah, we're going to. I was working it. from home. This would have been in between the two lockdowns yeah. in Melbourne. And then you were just like, come over. I have a mic. Let's just play yeah. around. And yeah. I was like, okay, I'll be there after my shift at 4.30. So yeah. I came straight after. So we had no real idea of what we were going to do, what the podcast was going to be, the name. We weren't even going to do a podcast. We were just no. going to record ourselves just talking. Yes, that was, yeah, that was It was just as that the, basic. Yeah, that was the intention, just to record and see what we get. Yeah, and then we did one episode. And then I am still, you know, don't know anything about podcasts. Yeah, I don't listen to podcasts even to this day. Going home, I do listen to you a lot do. of podcasts, and to be and to be like fair, it's just like the podcasts that I listen to are very particular themes. So like crime, a lot of, or... yeah, crime stories or a particular story, hmm. and um, a lot of obviously journalists researching the story for like a long period of time, involving a lot of you know story editing, scripting scripting out how the whole episode is going to be mm. based on you know the timeline of events getting to know the victim like all that kind of thing what happened at these time what are the facts i'm going to talk to like the parents the, this that know, and everything yeah Which, the you know thing. hours can go by hours like you've got to think most of those podcasts are you know completely you know basically a form of journalism of talking radio journalism and one theme isn't yeah. it crime yeah fantasy this that. i would say like we're similar to um jvn's um curious um getting curious where he talks about oh. a specific topic 
you know, each week and it changes and it's about, you know, the, being curious about different stuff that interests yeah. you. And that's kind of what we've done, except I would say we're also a bit more... <laughs> like random. It's, it's Sometimes random. it's like serious it's and then the, the next ca- yeah. episode we're talking about chocolate. And, you know, we can be talking about multiple things within the one episode. Yeah, 100%. It's kind of like, even like bringing it back to like that day when you were just like, all right, what do we do with it? And I was like, after we filmed yeah. it, I'm just like, I don't know, we'll find a platform, I guess. Yeah. And the intention was to just post it in Frankston. Yeah. And then I was just like, I kind of want to do it like, let's do it properly. Yeah. You know, why not? See where we land. And then you were just like, Buzzsprout. So that's our platform that we use. Um, so it's a streaming service from America, but they have um, subsidiaries in like France, which explains why we have like French people listening. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's easy to use. It's manageable. There's tabs that tell you this is where you go live. This is where I think the it directories was very are. much a really great platform for someone like both of us starting out. Yeah, the beginning. Knowing... And then... Like the, I'll just explain all the platforms from Buzzsprout that we're on. Yeah, so, we're not, so Buzzsprout okay. is basically a distri- dist- distributor yeah, yeah. Yeah, platform that allows you to reach people on Spotify. Around the world. Yeah. That's, on all the yeah. different places and, that they would listen. Yeah, so basically the different types of, di- they call it directories yeah. on the site. So Apple Podcasts are on Spotify. Those two were really, it was, um, so I, you have to submit like applications to get your podcast on. Yeah. So sometimes I'd get declined or sometimes it would get lost in the translation, so to speak. Yeah. And it was just me sitting there at like 1am, just pitching, 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 like sending emails going, I want this on this podcast. Yeah. I mean, on this directory, like, come yeah. on. So Apple Podcasts and Spotify were tricky, but we got there. Now we're verified on Spotify. Yeah. Um, and we're also on these random ones, but I, I guess these people that really listen to podcasts would know. Yeah. But Overcast, Stitcher, Stitcher, yeah. iHeartRadio, I think people yeah. know that, Podcast Addict, um, Castro, uh, Guest Box, um, Podchaser, Pocket Cast, um, Desla, Listen Notes, which a lot of people I've noticed are listening on that too. Yeah. Platform, oh uh, no, Player FM, Pod Friend, RSS Feed. That's like the link, but that's also like a directory as well. Yeah, a lot of people. So I always put the the uh, the actual site that Buzzsprout um, provides, and I always you know do that on our Facebook page or Instagram. Yeah. Um. But yeah, we're trying to develop our own website, like personally, so we can blog and write whatever we want because james is a writer too i'm a writer yeah it's our passion i can be exhausted and still want to do this i think that's why it's lasted so long i think so as well and i think that we are both very two creative people with um a lot of similarities and a lot of differences this pizza just highlighted that um and we're both very curious about things. I would say we both have open minds and that's kind of yeah. what we wanted the podcast to be. James and Jess's half hour where it could go anywhere. Yeah. It could be anything. And we and knew I it think... would last. If it was crime, you know, it would be like, okay, let's think about this story. It would get sick of it. I can tell you where I would get sick of it. I think it would become a chore yeah. and we wouldn't be doing it. Where this, I'm sitting on a train, I'm looking at this. Oh, this is interesting. What about yeah. this idea? Our think... Ideas are quiet. We don't plan. I message James sometimes on a Sunday or a Saturday and I'm just like, what's the topic? He tells me or I tell him and then I need to figure Most out. Most of the time you tell me. It's just the flow right now. Yeah. Give it like a bit more months, yeah. you'll come in like it was yeah. at the start. And then like on a Tuesday, I need to make sure, Tuesday or Wednesday that I promote whatever we're going to talk about on a Friday. Yeah. Then I have to think about what images am I going to do or am I going to post a video? Yeah. Am I putting you music on there that I shouldn't of behind the I scenes. love it though it's yeah. fiddly but now I've mastered the craft where yeah. I was pulling my hair out the first couple of episodes because yeah. I don't know anything about podcasts or marketing or editing did one class that would have been like when I was 19 for yeah. accounting that was nothing to do with anything you just create these but it's amazing how it came yeah. it just comes to mind I see something and I'm like oh what happens if you put that that's funny Little things like that, but our marketing that we've done is we have a Facebook page, as people know. Yeah. Instagram, I always make sure I put, so the maximum hashtags is 30 hashtags. 
So I there's a hashtag. Um, so if you go most seen hashtags on Google, there's a site, whatever site there is, and they give you the top 10 most looked at hashtags. And then I adapt that to whatever we're talking about, but yeah. I make sure that there's 30. Yeah. Then I have to put the link there. And then we're on YouTube. I have to make sure, so another thing, um, so there, there's an entire list here, but just to, for people to know, you need to make sure you do the thumbnail. So that's the image at the start of a YouTube video, and then it clicks to the video, yeah? Yeah. Then I need to make sure, now you pay for like the thumbnail maker, I don't pay for it. I use just the free version and I edit wherever the watermark is. So it's like manipulation. And I have what um, Photoshop Express and Lightroom, but the free versions, yeah? Yeah. And your mobile phones, you can get the free version. Yeah. So it's just manipulating what can you use, what can't you use. Um, a lot of the apps that I've used over, you know, almost a year of this podcast was, so I've written them down. So we use our platform, Buzzsprout. And then you are the master of Ableton. Yeah, so basically I've used Ableton as for my music. And then I was just like... Let's show them. Um, and then I was like, no, actually we're going to record our sessions. So I use a pretty much a similar rule when I'm making my music and my songs where I'll set up the microphone like this. I'll, um, you know be playing around obviously with the sound and we have our little jingle at the beginning and then you created that jingle yourself yeah and then um basically we will just talk and it's unedited we decided yeah we never stop and start we decided from the get-go that we wanted to be the type of place that you would come for a half hour as if you were there in the room with us without um editing this without it's authentic editing. yeah and we it's never, like live yeah and we never um i say um a lot but we never we never come in with ex too much expectations we I just do we it just, yeah we sit do down it, sometimes i come to your house and we just chill and drink with your parents or yeah. something and then we film and then sometimes I'm just like no let's get it over and done with let's yeah. do it and the flow has always been there I don't you know I think with other people um the flow wouldn't be there I think because they're freaking out that there's a mic in front of you yeah but then at the end of the day who cares like 50 years you'll be dead yeah don't worry about it <laughs> don't um, stress the just you just get it done if you stuff up you stuff up and then you just tell the public I yeah. was actually wrong the public will tell you <laughs> that you're wrong. There's messages on like Instagram that I, because I'm in charge of the Instagram page and the Facebook page and the Gmail account, we're both attached to it. Yeah. Um, you get to see the comments, like there's little comments here and there and you're just like, okay, I'll take that on board. I'll take it on board. Yeah. Oh, this comment's rubbish. That's a troll. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah. So we're on Facebook, Instagram. I use a lot of filters from Instagram as well. Screenshot the filters. Yeah. That's a cheap way of promoting. Because it's, you know, we're, we're doing it for this episode. Um, we don't have the most fanciest setup. We've just literally got one mic, which we share when we have guests. We'll just be all sitting around it, like, as you can see in the video right now on YouTube. Um, it's just a, um, basically an entry, like an entry level um, microphone. Um, we used to record on my old phone, the videos. Yeah. And now I'm using my iPhone 12 yeah. Pro Max. So the quality of the videos. But it's the whole thing when we're filming as well. We need to make sure that the sunset fades after a certain time and you can't actually see us. Yeah. So, you know, that's feedback we've gotten from people. Yeah. But then it is what it is. Again, authentic. <laughs> yeah. So a bit of our vision for the future is that we're obviously going to be working on developing our website so that we can... Another website other than the Buzzsprout. Yeah. Something so, like blogging. Yeah. So it'll be called James and Jess's Half Hour and it will basically have all um, some we... articles, blogs, and it will also, I guess, show a bit of our interests as well. Um, and we're I taking guess... this on the road, so it'd be good to show the locations, right? Yeah. Actually, yeah. It we can share will. that now. I think also I'll probably be posting a bit more cocktail hours, some food stuff. Skincare. 
and all that kind of stuff. By yeah. on the road, we mean we're going to be filming in different locations yeah, around you Melbourne. Yeah, can talk a little bit more about that. That was your idea. Um, so we were at Oliver's Hill and we were just chilling and watching. So Oliver's Hill, for the people that don't know, yeah. uh, like it's like a cliff, but it's a safe cliff that's kind of like off road. We can watch the sunset and the scenery. Like it's beautiful. See Melbourne. And I was like, the distance over the bay. Yeah. Yeah, distance over the bay. It's yeah. beautiful. Um, highly recommend if you haven't gone. Um, and we were just, I was like, why can't we film here? Like, it's very calming. It's a different effect. And then we were like, why don't we go around Melbourne? Like, different locations, like a winery or That's... the city. Like, here, for example, it's a different location. We're in South Melbourne. Yeah. So, we're going to be, yeah, basically setting up, um, yeah, in locations around Melbourne and having discussions about various topics. As you know, they change weekly we get ideas we don't we stress about it too we're yeah. just like let's talk about this or james would be like let's talk about that we don't think we don't have a plan i don't have a we don't have a plan of what we're going to talk about next week i right. may have in the back of my mind i may want a guest it depends if the guest can make it and on top of that if a guest cancels which they have yeah what else is in store like what can we do and then i have to quickly think about the marketing and what do i do so like some ideas we have for the future we would like to talk to um a life coach yeah my friend she actually added yeah. us hi stacy she yeah. added us on instagram yesterday actually yeah hi stacy um yeah we basically would love to talk to you about um your passion and your career and um a bit about it and how you can help people um discover you know what their goals and to focus aspirations and do it are. I think the biggest thing I would like to say about our podcast is that we can get into this habit of being creatures who want, we want perfection. We want mm. the podcast, you know, we're a journalist and we want to get an answer to the, you know, to solve the murder mystery mm. of what happened, who did it and all that kind of thing. And I think the most important thing we learned is that it's not so much about getting to the um, getting to the perfection. The now it's the journey. Yeah, it is the journey because we knew when we were starting out that, hey, we're just two people who are starting a podcast, but we know that our authentic truth is that. I have a personal um, perspective and experience in life. I want to share and, it. You know, what do you think? And yeah. what do you think? And I think that was so kind of that's our people, friendship, though. We've yeah, always I been think like so that. So many people try and you know um, are afraid of not being perfect or not getting things right or saying the wrong thing that they don't actually do do it. And yeah. I think that's one thing that we did from day one was that. We knew that it was going to be a podcast where we just talk about whatever the hell we want to talk about and whatever With no interests filter. us. With no filter, yeah. Yeah, and whatever interests us. And, you know, we could be talking about tea and then we'll be talking about frozen yogurt and we can go, we can go anywhere. In and out, yeah, depending on where the France, conversation goes. We can go goes. to Paris. Yeah. Um, I think that is one thing that I think... Separates us from a lot of people. Yeah, is that mm. you've got to actually do it and stop caring about negativity perfection and perfection. Yeah, and perfection. You're perfection will never be, be there. Yeah. You'll probably, people will see it for what it is, whether you think it's great or not. So. Yes. A couple of other apps I want to share. Yeah. I use a lot of, see, there's a lot of, so Vochi for like tweaking videos if we film and I want something like with a light effect or anything. There's free versions of that. Prisma is great for photo editing. It does like a real cathedral That's look. That's really cool. Yeah, you use You've, that yeah, I've shared that. that. Um, so yeah, thumb, thumbnail is like the main one. Image size, this is an important one for people. Um, sometimes when you post an image on Facebook and you want to post it on Instagram, it zooms in. I don't know why the hell they did that to this day. I, I hate it. There's a free app called Image Size that you can download, Android and um, iPhone, where you can edit um, the size of the image and then copy it and then post it like on Instagram. So that's another thing you need to, you have your images, then you have to edit the images and figure out the size of the image. Um, yeah. Comic book as well. When we did superheroes, I use that. 
that's a free app. So a lot of apps that you just for, type in photo edit and do the three day free trial. And then you learn which apps work for you and which don't. Um, even like the iPhone, like, cause I use iPhone to edit. Um, the iPhone photo editing that you get, like when you look at an image on, your, on an iPhone and you go to the top right and you edit. Yeah. Just something so simple than that. It's having the vision and even writing. Sometimes I'm on my lunch break at work and I'm writing on my notepad on my phone what the promotion or what I'm going to write for this episode. And I have it in my mind. And then I have a separate tab for what the hashtags are, what the site is, what, you know, directories we're on. Yeah. But it takes a long time. I was literally pulling my hair out for about two months, two, three months. And then you get the flow and then you're able to go wham, bam. But I was like, Thank you, ma'am. do you remember? Like, I remember the first week because I didn't know what we were getting into. And it had our first episode almost has over a hundred like listens and views and all that. Yeah. And it was just, yeah, listens because we went on YouTube then. Mm. And I was like, oh crap, this is actually doing well what do we do for a podcast? And I had to learn very quickly how to market this. And it was a lot of reading, a lot of blogs, just typing Google, how to market a podcast. Yeah. The cheapest way to market a podcast. Like I learned quite quickly, but it took up a lot of time. I was up until like, I remember two, two, two thirty in the morning, just developing our Instagram site. And I was like, James, I did it. And the same thing's going to happen for our merch. When we do our merchandise and start selling it, You'll be incorporated in that. Yeah. You already have good ideas for tops and whatnot. I'm actually really excited for that because I really think that you have a very vision as well and great ideas and I'm excited to And we see don't argue. You... We're in the same flow in this. So it must be the universe just doing us a favour. I, I don't think, think we've ever argued about this podcast. No. I think we had one time where we basically said that we didn't want to post an episode. Yeah, it was we. It was something to do with our murder mysteries because yeah. you were loving those podcasts, and I was just like, "Well, let's talk about it." And, and we, we went to a really dark, negative place, and I was like, "I don't went, want to put that out yeah, there." Yeah, we went very dark and deep, and it was in COVID, and a lot of people's mental health wasn't well, and we basically said, "What are we?" And we've never been that type of podcast, and I did. I want to be positive. We do want to leave a positive effect. We're it's like the Beatles, to... yeah? When you look yeah. back at their work, it was positive music. Yeah. And you're just like, see, that's why people love it. It's something to chill to. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, I think we covered... So even like after like posting the video, we learned this as well by posting double episodes when it's not the real episode to listen to your podcast. So I have like all those directories that I mentioned, I have them on my phone. So I may pull up like just Apple podcast, for example, or Spotify. I now have Spotify people. I said, I hated it. I love it now. Um, and I just listened to like, to see if there's any stuff ups with the, with the sound. Cause that happens quite, it happened quite a bit in the past. Yeah. Yeah. Until yeah. we figured out what was causing it. James. <laughs> no, you're fine. And um, Reddit is another platform. A lot of people that love podcasts seem to be on Reddit. So it's good to have an account yeah. there. Anything else you want to share, James? Uh, Just keep an open mind, I would say that. Keep an open mind and believe in yourself. Because I come from, what, an accounting and bank banking creative yeah. background as well. I'm like a mix. I'm total Gemini, total split personality. I can do both. But when you focus on something, make sure you do it 100%. You're in the moment. It's like at work, I'm there for eight hours. I'm only thinking about that. In my breaks, I'm thinking about the podcast or something yeah. else. You have to switch your mind and be 100% there. Multitasking, and I can multitask, but as time goes by, I'm realizing that there's no point multitasking to a degree because you have to be 100% thinking and doing your best. Otherwise, you're looking at all the work you've done and you know you've divided your energy and yeah. it's not 100. You couldn't, couldn't have been, it could have been better. I noticed that with me. So now I'm getting into the habit. That's with age though. I'm almost 30 next month. So yeah. You learn along the way, but you try. If it if you don't like it, at least you can say you tried. Yeah, I think you hit the nail on the head. It's like we you can try and be so many different, wear so many different hats, and try and pu pull yourself all these different ways. Where at the end of the day, you've just gotta, I guess, refine yourself but be yourself. 
100%. like be clear about what you want and what you your intention is yeah. and see what happens just leave it be do you what you can and then just leave it be don't think, think at the middle of the night damn i shouldn't have said that i should say it. just say it and then okay fine next you yeah 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 absolutely because we were scared with this mic right in front of us yeah at the start i think it took that's... a while Definitely, it took a while. And you can notice with the guests that we have on, you notice the the same jitteriness because we don't notice because it's just me and you. Yeah, and we're used to it now. We know. We just, we just go into it and we forget yeah. that it's there. We overcame the fear. Yeah. And just did it. Yeah. So just do it, like Nike says. Yeah, just do it. That's the only way to get things done. <laughs> I um, hope that was helpful. If anyone yeah. wants any tips or tricks, please email us. So James yeah. and Jess, half hour. No, yeah. S at the end. I mean, at the, in the middle. James and Jess, half hour at gmail.com if you need any tips or tricks or Instagram or Facebook yeah, messages. And if you have any more questions in regards to anything that we've discussed or anything that we're going to be doing, um, also stay posted. We'll be keeping you updated with all the updates in terms of the website and creating that and also merchandise the merchandise on the road on the road i'm excited for that it's gonna you know, be it's gonna be epic and if anyone's out there that has been doing podcasts for a long time we want to give us tips we're more than welcome to listen in here yeah we're absolutely we don't know um we don't know everything as you've heard our story um we're here we've always been um here to learn and open to anything i think that's one thing is about james and just half hour is that we don't want we we never have a closed mind I no think. it's either we we've even like bickered for like a second on the podcast and then we just that's just us though like brother and sister i think you're gonna bicker like naturally yeah. two separate humans like yeah and you know the biggest thing about it is that you're right and i am right because I think that's a hard thing in today's society to understand because your truth is truth mm. and my truth is truth. And it's, you know, it's not your truth. Mm. And that's what I think people bat heads because no, I'm 100% one person, right. yeah, one person's mm. perspective and it's your perspective. And then you're like, no, 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 you're wrong. It's actually, it's not even about that. You have your lens of the way you're seeing it. And I have the lens of the way I'm seeing it. Mm -hmm. You can say to me, I think you should open up your perspective to view it like this. Mm. And that it doesn't mean what you think it means. But everyone's everyone's different. Everyone everyone's sees, on their own path. Yes. And you I need think, to acknowledge that people are on... They may not know as yeah. much as you, but that's okay. They'll get there or they don't get there. And that's all right. Like Yeah. And also, it's just like you're not going to... Um, you're not going to know everything. Yeah, you'll never know everything. Exactly. You'll come back probably in the next life and be like, yeah. still don't know him. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Um, I think, is that? Yeah, we've covered it all. We've covered the pizza box, people. We did it. So we've, we've done it. Yay. But that's our story. Hope that was cool and interesting. I know people wanted to know how we got into this. I think everyone wants to know as soon as you say you have a podcast, how did you get into it? Yeah, and how do you do it? And um, that is basically how we do it. And Jess is the marketing mastermind guru. <laughs> and she has been phenomenal. What about creating, you, James? No, but with creating it. Because I will say I could not. I don't know how you just whip up these images or whip up all these creative stories, <laughs> these videos to get laughs and views and everything. So it's really, really, Thank really you, cool. James. And your input. Otherwise, it would have been the Jess's show. I wouldn't have been able to do it without you and your support. And your input. You actually I input think, on the podcast. I think we both have different strengths. Yeah. And, and you write too, like for the Facebook and the Instagram. You know, I may monitor the accounts, but I'm just like, can you give me what you wrote? I'll write, you know, yeah. put it on Instagram. So it's a mixture. Yeah. Thank you so much. And remember, if you've got any questions or queries or want to get started, also our friends, what I think I really, I'm absolutely mm. so happy that Bonnie started her podcast. Botanical it's, Creative. 
It's it is epic, so Bonnie. great. Her and her sister. Because all again, of the episodes that we've had her on were actually quite highly viewed. Yeah. And then her and her sister have such a great relationship and you can tell that, you know, yes, they're starting out like we were getting used to the mic, getting comfortable with it, but you can just see it's the only progress. been a few weeks. And her and marketing yes, is different. Yes. Like it's just her authentic marketing yes. that she's it's always done. It's her story that she's telling and it's her sister's story, um, you know, her sharing her artistry and what they both love and they're passionate about. And you can really... You can feel it. Feel it. And, and it's I on Spotify that's... only currently. Yes. But she'll be working on yeah. other platforms. It's, you know... So give that a listen. Give it a listen. It's really good. Yes. Plants. Yes. So people that don't know, it's about plants yeah. and how to... Everything botanical. Yeah. <laughs> you name and, it, it's there. And art. Yeah. And art, yes. Yeah. That brings her sister into it. Yeah. So Bonnie's the, you know... Plant extraordinaire, yeah, garden gurus. Yep. Yeah, some garden gurus. Um, but yeah, that was awesome. I think the biggest thing about that is that she was saying, like, I don't think I would have done that. And she listened from us. day one, yeah. every single episode. So, Bonnie, yeah. thank you for that. Yeah, thank you for supporting We're doing us. the same for you. Yeah. Don't you think we haven't forgotten yeah. about you? And yeah, everyone check it out because it's awesome. Comment, like, subscribe. Thank you for listening to our story. Cheers.